Hey everyone, Eddie Gray here with thepipenook.com. Back in the West Parlor uh, to do another mail call. I've had some interesting questions come in that I really felt like I needed to share with more than just the person who initially emailed me. So if you guys have questions, be sure to send those to me um, through the contact page of my site. This one, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to title the actual video, but the topic is pipe shapes and tobacco types. Are there magical combinations? So let me read um, the initial question. I'm going to do... He, this, this person had a few things that he mentioned, so I, I don't think I'm going to mention all of it, but... Oh, this is the third video that I'm recording today. So, same shirt. I try not to trick you guys by changing shirts. And actually, the same pipe. I'm still smoking my Savinelli Roma Lucite 320, 6mm, with some Old Joe Crants. So, this comes from a man named Eric. He says... Hello, Mr. Gray. I've been trying to talk myself out of a 327 LE. I've done that many times, Eric, and I now have six Savinelli 320s in my personal collection. It is my favorite Savinelli shape, uh, with seconds being the 644 shape, which you don't see much, and the 642 shape. Many others, but those are my favorite three. Many people claim Virginias or Vapors, Virginia Periques, smoke best in a narrow or deeper bowl. How do you like them in a 320? I also love Haunted Bookshop and other Burley blends and Dark Fired blends as well as English and Balkans. I know it used to be one of your favorite shapes, still is, uh, and I just like you uh, to give pros and cons opinions and do they smoke all blends well or do they just smoke certain types so I emailed Eric back here's what I said uh, I said hi Eric the 320 is still my favorite Savinelli shape and I actually just acquired a sixth for my personal collection I personally don't see that particular shapes smoke spe specific blends in any better than others. I'm not sure about this, but I kind of think most people that say flakes or Virginia Periques, many of which are flakes, uh, are those um, who use the fold and stuff method, uh, which I don't use. I think those are the folks that say, hey, use, use a narrow, tall bowl for those particular blends. I personally completely rub out flakes before loading them into my pipes. With this in mind, I find that the 320 shape works equally well with vapors, burly blends, dark fired blends, English blends, aromatics, you name it. The 320 does it and does it well. And with its thick walled waist, that place in the middle, that bulbous area, it doesn't get too hot in the hand and provides a cool smoke. I typically smoke Perique blends and dark fired blends in my 320s because that's what I enjoy smoking the most. But I do have one 320 that I've set aside for aromatics. That'd be my Trevi 320. English blends I've found pretty much will smoke well in any shape, uh, but I don't smoke them in my 320s, and I'll get to that. Uh, but, so n English blends typically don't go in my 320s, but my advice is to smoke what you like in the pipes that you favor. You may find magical combos for yourself personally, but I personally haven't. 
I just find that certain blends or blend types gravitate towards certain pipes for purely random personal preference and mentally associative reasons. For example, green to me is representative of oriental leaf, thanks largely to McClellan's Oriental series having green labels, I, I believe. That's why. So I smoke oriental forward blends in my Rattray's Fatchen pipe and many other green stemmed or green stained pipes. I have a Molina pipe uh, that looks to me like a tree stump which I mentally associate with Perique. Uh, so I typically smoke Perique blends in that. Uh, but that's it. I hope, uh, I hope this proves useful to some of you. I'm sure opinions will abound uh, one way or the other. But that's part of the joy of the journey, is learning what you like and what works best for you, not for somebody else. So again, I've said this before, don't ever let somebody tell you that you're doing it wrong uh, in pipe smoking or guitar playing or carpentry or anything if you find something that works best for you. Let me relight. Well, I am at the bottom half of this bowl. Three videos in the can today, and I think that's going to do it. If I smoke this bowl down too much further, I'm going to get that head spinny time for lunch feeling. So, we're going to leave it at that. If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. Uh, if you want updates on the Pipe Nook, go to the website. There's a, a form to fill out to subscribe to my newsletter. That's the best way to uh, know what's coming down the way as far as new products or you know limited edition blends, that kind of thing. And sales. Occasionally I'll run sales and those will be announced on the newsletter more often than on the on the uh, YouTube channel. But both of those help out uh, the channel and the pipe nook uh, in, in just ways that you can't imagine. It, I, I gotta have I gotta have people know what I'm doing to be able to um, keep adding uh, products to the pipe nook because it all comes down if you're a small business owner you know it all comes down to not necessarily uh, popularity of things but but cash flow <laughs> so we're gonna leave it at that glad y'all got to see me and we'll chat with you later